Okay, so in this video, we are talking about how to organize your computer desktop uh, so you can find things, you feel organized, and things are just very visual. The biggest thing here um, that's made a big difference is that our graphic designer named Matt created this really cool background image with like colored sections. They're kind of like different containers. Uh, if you would like a copy of this file to use on your own computer, there is a link below where you can download it for free um, and see if it works for you. It has been a night and day difference for me. Okay, so the background is organized just like you would organize your office. All of the project papers together, like papers and folders, all of the files in the filing cabinet together, and then everything on your desk together. Desk is like frequently used files, papers, programs, um, keep all those things like within reach. And, and everything here is visible. If you're using it, if you frequently access it, keep it visible. If it's not something you frequently access, keep it inside of a file folder or keep it like, you know, another level deep. Just the things that you absolutely need on the desktop, nothing more. Okay, so the right side of the background image has all of um, my projects. So these are work projects, personal projects, doesn't matter, they're just projects. Uh, so there's seven different sections in the project section, so you could call them like containers or bins or something. Uh, and so in each of the project sections, the very first thing is a file folder. Now, as you can see, this doesn't look like your traditional yellow file folder. That's because I customized all the project file folders. And you know, it's probably different for every computer. I went ahead and I right clicked, I hit properties, I went to customize, I hit change icon, and I just picked an icon that felt like was more fun than the yellow folder. Now, the naming convention that I use here is I do dash dash project dash dash and then the name of the project. And I use whatever name makes sense, but I always make sure to do dash dash project dash dash because when you have Windows Explorer open, it's going to automatically sort, um, sometimes it sorts like alphabetically, sometimes it sorts by file folder or something. And so I found that if I do this naming convention, it will put all the projects together. And when all the projects are together, it just feels so much more organized, it feels clear, and there's like zero confusion. Okay, so that's the project folder. Okay, so to the right of the file folder are all of the open files for the project. So once a file is done, no more action is needed, I will go ahead and I will drag the file to um, the, the project folder. And so now it's inside the folder. Now I can't see it, it's not on my desktop, which is great. I don't need to see it if there's no action needed. All I need to see are the things that I'm currently working on. Now, once the um, project is done, then what I wanna do is I wanna move the project folder to the filing cabinet and file it away because again, I don't need to see it, it's done. I know where I can find it if I need to you know, access it a year from now. So I just drag it to the appropriate folder in the filing cabinet. So I'm just gonna drag this one into ATV programs. And now project one is blank. And now I can um, you know, start a new project in that one section. And one more thing I want to mention, so for file names, um, again, I just name my files whatever is going to make sense to me, like whatever makes sense right now and whatever is likely to make sense like a year from now for my future self. So I'm always thinking about my future self. How can I eliminate confusion for my future self? Now, if you have a lot of the same file types um, or like, just like a lot of one type of file and you want to use a naming convention, I would highly recommend using a naming convention, including like um, high level category, um, subcategory, version, date, title, whatever makes sense to you. Um, you know, just figure out what, what's going to make sense to you and then do that naming convention. So in the filing cabinet, you have files to one day reference files that you need to save for documentation purposes, um, or just, you know, things that you're not using right now, but there's a good chance you'll need them in the future. So the file cabinet is divided into two different types of um, files. So one is work files, 
And then the second one are personal files. Um, and again, I customized all of the file folders, making it a little bit easier to um, differentiate work from personal. So all the work file folders are butterflies and all of the personal <laughs> file folders are hot air balloons. And so the naming convention that I use for all of the uh, file folders in the filing cabinet for work, it's dash dash ATV dash dash and then the name of that folder. So programs, photos, I have a miscellaneous folder, uh, marketing, design, reviews, and so forth. And again, they are named. So when you pull up Windows Explorer, which I'll show you right now, if you pull it up, um, it's gonna automatically sort. So it's gonna put all of the work file folders together all of the personal file folders together, and then all the project ones together over here. Same thing for personal. I do dash, personal, dash. Uh, there's no dash, dash because it didn't fit, so I just use one dash. Uh, and then whatever makes sense for those files. And so down here I have scanned documents and scanned photos for anything that I scan that's gonna be saved to the computer goes to those two file folders. Those are kind of like a holding tank. Um, if I double click on there, I can see things that I've scanned that I have not moved over to the appropriate file folder. So for all of your file folders, um, what I would recommend doing is keeping the labels uh, broad as opposed to specific. The more specific you get, you know, it just means more categories. It's gonna clutter up your desktop. Um, so I rather keep it broad. And then um, if you need to get specific within the one file folder, then you can just have a subfolder uh, inside that file folder. What I do not do is I don't have a folder, a subfolder, a sub subfolder, a sub sub subfolder, because it just gets like too confusing. I just have a folder, a subfolder, and then the files are inside there. On occasion, you will see like, a sub subfolder, but it's very rare because I don't like to just, you know, if you have so many things to open, it's like so many clicks to get to get to one file. I feel like it's not efficient. Um, so that works for me. Um, but you know, just see what works for you. So the bottom part is the desk. So the desk has all of my frequently used programs and frequently used um, open one off tasks. It's kind of confusing one off tasks. So tasks that are not related to a project, they're just one-off files and they're open, they're active, there's still action that's needed, or I reference them often. So those are just down here. Again, naming convention, whatever makes sense to my current self, what will make sense to my future self, those are all down there. And so what I do is every month I get into the habit I say every month, but sometimes I do it weekly, sometimes I do it every two months, um, but just get into the habit of, you know, if you're finding yourself in a hurry and you're just saving all kinds of random stuff to your desktop um, and not giving it like a full name and um, you know, you're downloading files, they're ending up in the wrong placement here, take five minutes, if that, and just drag and drop things where they, you know, where they belong and uh, doesn't take that much time. And when you do that, you'll find that you can quickly find the things that you need because you don't have clutter in the way and you just feel more efficient at your computer. So again, if you would like to download this background image um, for your computer and, and try it and see if it keeps you and your desktop more organized, I will put a link below to where you can download it for free. Matt, Matt our graphic designer, has created several different uh, color variations so we can switch it up when we, um, you know, we just need a fresh start. So I will include all those color variations as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for being here and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.